Hello everyone, welcome back and today I'm going to be taking a look at another interesting little box. Look at that, how nice is that? But what's inside it? Let's have a look shall we? Russell Russell, and what do we have? Check that out. That's rather nice, isn't it? A bird cara cara. So what do you think then, guys? Yes, it's a bird cara cara. And despite them being discontinued, I managed to get hold of one. This one actually came from Gearbest. And it is uh, actually sold as a brother under the brother brand. Of knives. Let's take a closer look at it shall we? Okay so just check out the finish on this blade then. Nice isn't it? Got a nice uh, hollow grind going on just here. And we have um, jimping both on the top of the blade and underneath it too. Moving along we can see there's um, the actual bird logo there. 8CR13MOV steel. As I say this is sold by Gearbest under the Brother brand but there's no Brother branding on this whatsoever. We've got the um, the little R there for the uh, you know registered um, hole there. Got China. Um, we have stainless steel scales that are rather nice. We have the back lock here. You see that working? Um, those nice little holes at the bottom of the scales there. That's quite nice. And we have a nice lanyard hole at the back here too. And you can just about see here. There's one there, and one there, look, the rivets used to uh, construct the knife. There's one. On the other side, I believe, let's have a look. Let's have a look, where is it? There we are. On the other side, look, you can actually see the pivot pin as well. Okay, so let's check out the fit and finish on this thing, shall we? Not looking too bad so far, is it? And heading to the uh, back lock here. It's nicely polished, I know that much. Heading along to the... Uh, Back end of the handle here. Still looking quite nice. Hmm. There's probably a little um little bit of a gap going on just there. Here are the uh, bird holes in the uh, scales. Okay, so what's happening on the inside? Well, we'll start with the um, jimping on the finger choil here. Inside of the blade. Can we keep that in focus? Yep. So it looks like it's got a quite a nice finish in there, doesn't it? They haven't skimped on the inside of things. I mean, look at this. Hmm. Is the lanyard hole, the uh, torque screws holding the pocket clip in place. There's the pocket clip. You see the uh, the lock release. It's doing its thing on the back of the blade here. Look. 
there's a forward clip mount holes and as I say you can see the uh, pivot pin just protruding through there see the outline of it and so we have R and China on the other side the bird logo but no sign of any brother markings all right so is this a clone or is it a genuine article as I say if you check um, Spyderco stroke bird website you will find that Cara Cara has been discontinued and as I say this is marketed by brother on Gearbest but there are no brother markings on it at all just bird and the blade material so I'm thinking maybe this is the company that actually made the bird Cara Cara for bird stroke spider co it's interesting right I think it's time we got the tape measure in let's have a look right in there we go so what are we looking at here then um, blade oops overall blade, blade length that I can see here is about 100 mil uh, a cutting edge of um, about 97 something like that overall length um, 218 mil yep 218 mil hmm so what about a few size comparisons then okay first up we have the Ganzo G746 another nice knife and that one is actually a little smaller and then we'll move on to the Hans CK7201 disguiser which is um, more or less the same size I like this knife actually it's very nice indeed and then we have the Hans 7 uh, CK7006 which is like just enormous as you can see <laughs> far bigger and then um, one of my other favorites the Lansky World Legal which is like uh, yeah it's normally bigger than most knives I put out here but this is a uh, <laughs> it's actually uh, looks a bit smaller doesn't it hmm and of course it's got that whopping great big back spring on it so you definitely want to keep your fingers out of the way with this baby now this one is uh, what they call a mid lock so you just press the little lever here and the blade folds away mine's got a little stiff part well have a look mine gets a bit stiff just there but um, you can for the most part you can keep your fingers out of the way when you close a mid lock look it's got a fair old way to go before it gets to your hand. Um, if we look at a liner lock, like this fella here, you've got your finger or your thumbs quite close to the uh, sharp parts, shall we say? Um, one that I do like is the axis lock because you can com completely keep your fingers out of the way with these ones. As you close it just push back on the little buttons and your fingers are completely out of the way there one further size comparison is my San Renmu 4107 look how small that is now you'll probably ask me what the heck is this knife doing in here somebody um, recently said to me this would make a good knife if it had a three and a half inch blade on it which is uh, you know very similar to this so let's do a little Rathbone magic and have a look what this knife would look like if it was this size wow what do you think it would look quite awesome wouldn't it that size imagine that yes I'd like that I'd like a knife that size of the uh, San Renmu, a large San Renmu 4107 then. 
What do you reckon guys? Would you like one this big? Okay guys, so just how sharp is this little fellow? Well I know it's pretty sharp because I've uh, already stabbed my finger with it. I've only had it about five minutes as well. Anyway, let's try a bit of paper. See how good the paper is. Or the blade is rather. Oh yeah, that's uh, that's very good. Yes, I like that. Yes. Pretty good. Pretty good. Let's get that out of the way. A um, little bit of cardboard then. Yep. It's pretty pretty all right with the cardboard as well then. Hmm. Get that out of the way. Uh, is it worth bothering bothering with them? Um, garden twine. Let's have a look. <laughs> yep. There's my uh, useless new rope. It's not very thick this stuff. Let's try a. I'll tell you what. Let's. Let's get it into a bit of a bundle, shall we? And get a better idea then. Right in. Oops, if I can. Uh, there we go. Get in there. Well, you heard that. No bother at all then. Um, I have got a little bit of blue left. Some little off cuts. Get me a bit of wood in here. Let's try this. Well, that wasn't too difficult for it, was it? Pop that back, and we'll get some um, little tie wrap, medium sized tie wrap, and there's a oh, big one. Right, let's try the little one first. Shouldn't be any bother for it, sure, should it really? You wouldn't have thought. And you'd be right. What about the next size up? If I do my part, it does it well. And of course, we have the uh, large tie wraps here. So we can get a whole bit of that and try it. Oh, yes. Hmm. Not bad. Um, the old uh, thin strapping. Yeah, listen to that. Chop that off then, and have a listen. Yep. Um, got a little bit of me uh, black strapping left. Yes, he likes that one too. So we chop a lump off of there. Yeah, that sounded nice, didn't it? Okay, hmm. what about if I can get it out? <clears throat> Got a little bit of a twin core wire here. Just try that briefly. Wallet, yep, not bad at all then. Okay, so I think we can say it's fairly sharp. So there we have it then guys, the brother Bird Caracara. The now discontinued Bird Caracara gets a new life at Gearbest under the name Brother. So if you've been after one of these and can't get one, nip over to Gearbest and take a look. Um, this one cost me around about 13 or 14 pounds, and so that's not too bad really. And uh, I think it's quite a nice Quite a nice little knife actually, it's nice and sharp, it's well made, as I say if, you, if you've been after a Cara Cara and can't get one, you can now at Gearbest. So let me know what you think then guys, will you be getting one? I'm glad I got mine, I quite like it actually, it's quite nice. And so the only thing I've got a bit of problem with it is it's um, just there, There's a little, it's a little bit tight closing just there. But other than that, it's nicely finished, sharp, it's well made, and it's, uh, I like it, yeah. But then again, I do, you know guys, you know that I like sharp, pointy things, whether they cut my finger or not. So, you can click like, 
you can share it with your friends just in case they've been after a, uh, a bird caracara and couldn't get one um, you can follow me on Instagram as well and um, thank you very much for coming over and taking a look at this blade with me I do appreciate it and if you haven't done so already you can also subscribe ok guys well thanks for coming over once again and uh, taking a look at this blade with me and I shall no doubt see you over here again at some point for another knife review or even maybe a multi-tool review you never know now just in case you're curious about the uh, intro picture well this collared dove has learnt that if it sits on the door handle it gets fed very clever yeah well have a good day then guys and I'll catch you again sometime Laters. Um, yeah, all right then. So, do you know I forgot what I was going to say now? <coughs> okay, guys. As you can see, I've had this blade not even an hour, and I've managed to stick my finger with it already. Nice. <laughs>